Fight Design Podcast, presented by the Fake Fight Design Network. I'm your host, Leroy Glover, here to help you navigate the currents of life with intention and purpose. In today's episode, episode three, Actions and Consequences, we're going to dissect the casual relationship between what we do and what follows. Every action has a ripple effect, and today we'll learn how to make waves that will carry us to the shores of success. Think of every action as a seed planted in the soil of your life. The consequences are the sprouts and eventual fruits that emerge from those seeds. Are you planting weeds or a garden that will flourish? Let me repeat that again. Are you planting weeds or a garden that will flourish. This metaphor equates the actions we take to seeds being sown in the garden of our existence. And it's a powerful one that resonates deeply in the context of personal growth and consequences. Let's delve into what this means. Actions as seeds. Now, every action we take has the potential to grow and develop into something larger than the act itself. Like seeds, actions carry with them the blueprint for a future result. Some actions, seeds, have the potential to grow into nourishing, beautiful, and beneficial outcomes, fruit. Others may lead to negative consequences, weeds, that can overrun and disrupt our life's garden. Let's look at cultivating intentionality. The key to ensuring that we're planting a garden that will flourish is intentionality. We must be as deliberate with our actions as a gardener is with planting. This means being mindful of the long-term effects of our behaviors, considering the environment, our content and circumstances, and nurturing our actions with the right attitude and resources to help them thrive. Let's look at soil of your life. The soil represents the current state of our lives our mindset, our relationships, our resources, and our potential. Just as good soil is enriched and ready to support growth, we must cultivate our lives to become fertile grounds for positive action to take root. Let me share that again. We must cultivate our lives to become fertile grounds for positive action to take root. This may involve education, personal development, and the removal of toxic influences akin to weeding and fertilizing in garden. Now, let's look at consequences as sprouts and fruit. As action grow and develop, we, they must, let me, let me repeat that. As actions grow and develop, they manifest as consequences in our lives, which can be seen as the sprouts that emerge from the soil. Now, over time, these sprouts grow and bear fruit. The ultimate outcome of our actions. Now, positive actions tend to produce beneficial results that can nourish and enrich our lives, while negative actions often result in detrimental consequences that require effort to recite. Weeds of flourishing greens and gardens. Weeds or flourishing garden. Weeds in the garden can choke out desired plants. Similarly, negative actions can overshadow and hinder the growth of positive outcomes. A flourishing garden is a result of consistent care, 
wise choices and the patience to see the growth process through, through to fruition. Likewise, a flourishing life is often the product of thoughtful decisions, sustained effort, and the resilience to overcome challenges. Let's look at gardening as an active process. Gardening is not a passive activity. It requires active involvement. Similarly, creating a life that flourishes requires us to be proactive, to regularly assess and attend to our actions, ensuring they're aligned with the kind of life we want to cultivate. To think of every action as a seed is to recognize the profound potential that lies in our everyday choices. It invites us to be mindful and intentional about those choices as a gardener is with their plants. By understanding this, we can start to cultivate a life filled with actions that bear the kind of fruit we want to enjoy and share with others. To truly understand the weight of our actions, we must first accept responsibility for them. This accountability is where the power lies. It's the fuel for intentional action taking. Let's delve into some strategies. Now, first up, the pause and predict technique. Before you act, Take a moment to pause and predict the potential outcome. This brief reflection can be the difference between a reactionary blunder and a well thought out triumph. Here's an exercise. Identify an action you're considering and write down three potential consequences. Assess each one for its assignment with your goal. Let me repeat that again. Assess each one for its alignment with your goals. Is this action likely to bring you closer to where you want to be? Now remember it, every action is a building block in the structure of your destiny. Choose and act wisely and your construct a reality that reflects your deepest aspirations. Let me suggest some book recommendations. The Compound Effect by Doran Hardy is a must read. It brilliantly captures how small actions can accumulate into significant life changes. Here's an app suggestion. Check out Way of Life, an app that helps you track your habits and analyze consequences of your daily actions. Well, my friends, that's a wrap for episode three. Harness the power of your actions and shape a destiny you'll be proud to call your own. Don't forget to tune in to episode four, where we'll explore the art of balancing life scales. Until then, be the architect of your actions and the author of your outcome.